What is up guys, today I will show you how to move from stock firmware for Xiaomi Mi 8 in 2025 to the newest version available, not actually from for exactly this device, but this is ported version, not official, and it's based on Android, uh, latest, one of the latest Android, let's say, uh, 14, it's Hyper OS 2.5, 2.05 uh, Chinese version and actually it's working well. Let me show you how to do it from the stock. So currently I have uh, latest official version, stable Chinese version is 12.5.2 stable. Also it's working for uh, stable versions available um, in global or other markets as well. Uh, and first of all, what you should do, of course, you should have unlocked bootloader. I will not show how to do it. You can f Google it online, how to unlock bootloader for Xiaomi Mi 8. I already unlocked it before. After this, uh, you need to install the custom recovery here. What you should do is uh, to, enter the, to enter the fast boot mode. Firstly, you disable your phone, press uh, the bu volume button down and power on your device and okay now you're in fast boot mode then you connect it with your cable to your uh, laptop and i will switch to the laptop all right i switched to the laptop here so i have a db already pre-installed also will not point out how to install it so i have a db already installed here uh, if you don't have also just google it i will not focus on it a lot because it's simple combination and actually to be installed click uh, win plus air button uh, open smd here and uh, copy the location of your uh, adb like this then fast boot devices so you see this fast boot device as the phone actually here and after this you need to uh, in, install the recovery here so i already have this image uh, twrp here it's already downloaded so i will leave uh, the link below where to download it and after this what you should do is to type several commands so the first one is like this fastboot flash recovery twrp img click on it so recovery installed and second one is to boot so actually same but here we replace with boot here here we replace with with boot like this so finished and now it should load the custom recovery here so let's wait it should be done automatically here so as you see custom recovery is here Allow modification. So after this, when you have the custom recovery, you copy the files here on the device. Uh, for example, I use a flash drive here, so you can disconnect now. So I have disconnected and insert the USB flash drive here and click install, then select storage OTG here. And I have here two files and first one is expand system 7 gigabytes, second one is the firmware. Uh, first one I will click to the expand the system. Okay, install. So now it will expand the memory here. And be careful in case you have already installed the custom firmware, maybe you don't need to do it, otherwise your phone may become just bricked. So Actually, you see, I am in stock one, so I must install it. If you are not in stock one, you should do it uh, return better to return to stock and do it uh, this way as I am showing to you. Okay, back to OTG. Okay, then you can flash the firmware, just click on it, start flashing. Even if you see some issues, it's okay, it's not a problem, just uh, flash it first. Everything will be... Uh, fixed later on. Okay, so flashing is done here. After this, what you need to do is to format uh, everything. So let's go to wipe, uh, format data, type yes. Okay, so sim is done. Also, you can do the 
you can factory reset it again and actually now it's uh, fully done then just load and enjoy so let's click reboot system and you can un unplug and let's wait how it will be load a hyper s here so just to inform you there is uh, will be two issues here when you just load it so nfc doesn't work i will leave in the comment below what you should install to make nfc working so it's actually the same you open t wrp then you install nfc is working also there will be no keyboard uh, then you need to have some gboard install it here so it's not pre-installed let's say uh, all the others in the play market also can be installed using the get apps here so as you see hyper s is loading uh, xiaomi hyper s the newest version is on xiaomi mi 8 where all device from 2017 here and uh, working on the newest firmware using the Android 14. So actually just to refresh this phone after a long time of using. So see, so you see Hyper, so me Hyper S is here. Actually, of course it has limited language. This is based on English, on Chinese version, but still it's working, guys. Let's connect to Wi-Fi directly. Okay, actually we cannot connect to Wi-Fi, we don't have keyboard, as you see when I click on it, no keyboard, so you need to skip it. Uh, okay, agree on everything, skip. This me AI, just skip, location, emergency, automatic update, okay. Just skip it as it is, doesn't matter, super me AI, okay, disable it full screen navigation setup complete so actually as you see now we have the hyper s let's open it up let's check it out what we have uh, my device so xiaomi hyper s 2.0.5 here it's installed detailed information so as you see android 14 security update is from april 2025 so actually pretty nice device that it will work for a long time and basically that's pretty much it so i will make the full review of this firmware later on in the newest version as for now what you need to do is that uh, it's unlocked it's working well and actually it's uh, supporting all the newest features here the camera is new also everything's readjusted so you're like using the new phone Alright, basically that's pretty much it, thank you much for watching, put the thumbs up and see you next time.